1-800-529-9999. Same as the WhatsApp number, which means you can not only send us your text messages, your WhatsApp messages, your voice notes, but you can call us on WhatsApp as well, 876-365-3346. 876-365-3346. Let's keep those messages coming in. Keep those comments coming in here on both sides of the story. Power 106 FM still streaming live on the Gleaners website, go-jamaica.com. And let's see now. Some more information for you, our faithful listeners. So let's go up the line. And uh, another reminder of Jamaica having a reputation of a sought after destination. If you go back to 1964, Carol Burnett, for those of us who remember watching Carol Burnett on TV, NBC TV, and Broadway star, Carol Burnett, NBC TV and Broadway star, and her husband, Joseph Hamilton, arrived at the Montego Bay International Airport to travel and to travel to the Runaway Bay Hotel in St. Anne for a one week holiday. So the excitement of yesterday is not unknown to us here in Jamaica. For generations, we have played host to the peoples of the world. And Carol Burnett was one of those superstars who came into the picture, so to speak. 1964. More in a moment. Contractors, developers, and small builders, contact Coast to Coast Group of Companies for high quality concrete products. The time by Coast to Coast Group of Companies is three o'clock. Tune in every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. for Your Legal Corner with Bailey Walker Huntington. During both sides of the story with Durban Malcolm on Power 106 FM. It's your source of information regarding U.S. immigration matters. Combined with Power 106 FM's pioneer of diaspora broadcasting. Call in with your U.S. immigration queries and concerns on 876-922-4112-5 or send a text or WhatsApp message to 876-279-8598 and get the answers you need for your U.S. immigration questions. That's your legal corner with Dana Walker Huntington. Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. during both sides of the story with Durban Malcolm, only on Power 106 FM. Waiting for the tide to flow. Sitting here in limbo. Knowing that I have to go. Thanks a lot for staying with us here on your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM. Taking your calls at 876 922 4112 5. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Good afternoon, Mr. Malcolm. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? I am giving thanks for life and you. I'm not so bad. Good. Uh, you heard about some cylinder cooking that cylinder of a Portmore police radar premises? Yes, I, I don't remember the exact. All right, well, that's right. How many offenses, how many breaches you like the police said, come on, I live to be committed. Sorry, slow down a bit. I, I, I'm not hearing you clearly. Come again. How many, how many different breaches uh -huh. they, they allege who are not committed? I heard about five different consumers, league, bureau of standards, metro, um, so I have about five different breaches mm -hmm. on my talent to be committed. You heard about it? Yes, I, I heard about it. All right. So the police, let me go to court. 
the police must they might say the man that you uh, police take you along the the place um to bring offenses the offenses to, to the court. No, they just need to act. Once the discovery right. is made, act. All right. Remember um the Nepo with the the building the building bridge? Yes. How how many reports were sent to the DPP? How many rip uh, how many rip? Right. Right, because mm -hmm. if you say that it's only the Nepo, Nepo alone, or if Nepo alone they submit to the DPP, Nepo report, or the building, the building um, has to have something. There's like. supposed to be a team within the municipal corporation but whose responsibility good. it is, and therefore uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't be hard to to uh -huh. assign responsibility, because you know right. who is supposed to be operating in what position. All right. I'm just moving apart now, because I, want, I don't want to take too long. Mm -hmm. Remember the incident with Mr. Hazard in Clarendon? Which one was that? Was... Some building up some stalls or something yes, like that? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. how, how long was that? The perspective. How long? Uh -huh. Two times, year and a half, two years. I, I don't remember. But mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I'm not that over here. If it, yeah, if it, if it, if it, if it, it. I, I, I don't remember it line by line, word, word by word. I don't, I, I don't remember all of it. Yes. All right. You remember the incident where a certain member of Palmer King allowed to be dumped in garbage? Yes, that one I remember. Right. That's still fresh in the memory. Did the police take action and fact? I do not send to the DPP. That's a, that's a very good question. Uh, one, I'm just trying to remember. Uh, let me see if I can bring up a story or two. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, this is 20, the year was 2021, December, when, uh, December 9, 2021, Dalrymple, Philibert, co accused dumping case set for February 21st. Well, and the arrest was made by the police at the DPPO, The story is the illegal dumping case against House Speaker Marissa Dalrymple, Philibert, and her two co accused is set for trial on February 21st next year in the St. Right. Anne Parish Court. Right. The day we want to know if, if the police make a return spot, or the, or the matter was referred to the DPP and the DPP. It says the three were charged. The, the, the date was set on Wednesday when 66-year-old Dalrymple Philibert was also a member of parliament for Trelawney Southern, her son Giovanni Philibert, 30, and her gardener, Simon Sanchez, 42, appeared in the St. Anne Parish Court. Yeah, but you don't have to say, all right, and what are you doing? You don't want to, all right, make a move up. Mm. Remember, the real matter, the, the police in arrest, and what are you doing to the DPP to the road now? Well, I, I think he, the, the security forces were at his premises, they turned up. Yes, but yeah. uh, who, who, char who made the ruling to charge? The police or the DPP? Who make the ruling to charge? Oh, yeah, right. You got to see my report on you know. Mm -hmm. Because remember, I told Minister uh, it was a Nicole the night. Mm -hmm. Police who came out of and the DPP, a member of Alice, uh, she was not part of it. To, to be to railway to be charged. Well, you clearly have a better a better memory than right. mine. So uh, if that matter if that matter went to the PPP, you feel say uh, really the might be not charged. Since it's like you know, she don't know if if why the police charge him, because she never know. So me believe say uh, any of that matter went to the DPP, I think that she not make a ruling for that. Because the police found out, the police just went for real with an arrest him. And but I tell him, well, I talk about hope, very much up, offended. You remember that? Yeah, there might have been a, a reason for that too, because of the connection. Well, let me know. Connection. All right. 
Mm-hmm. But the last, the last thing I'm going to tell you, remember 2016. Who was the commissioner of police 2016 up in September 2016? Can you recall? No. No. All right. No, because same name. Um, Dr. Carlin, Mr. Quello, and I, I would say my name is Wellington. All right? One of those men, right? Mm-hmm. Remember who one of the commissioner of police said he took her to read the that she didn't do what in integrity of the group of compromise. You can call something like that. Mm-hmm. You're, you're doing very well. I, I, my, my memory is not that short. Some people, just a note to them, step away. That makes them come and them integrity compromise. And compromise. Yeah. yeah. Because they're not going to put up with the thing. So then people are worried about the people that was good enough. No, I mean I I just see it in black and white. It's something somebody uh goes out of line and there is supposed to be a system, a protocol, a policy, whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead and, and apply the sanctions. All right. A, a third incident might happen, right? And some years after the incident happened, the first part of him decided, no, 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 no. I can't be a part of this. And after the resign, I retire. Take it out. Take it out. There are some, some of us, you know, we're going to have to now. It's a Malcolm. Mm-hmm. And there's no money and no friendship to go to make a lose the integrity, you know. That's right. That is why, you know, the younger people are look are look on it and say, so why live in a country like this when so and so um they're not here. I mean, look at look at the as the world that one the minimum high that fifteen years, right? Yeah. How many people arrested after that to go? Yeah, yet, 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 people have been held with God. And then, obviously, with a 15 or 20 years, because they're my real politics, why to any line, why other people have a full right? And to God come to this world, no matter if God come even to the world, whether I may reach up a man, because some of us, some people are suffering, Mr. Malcolm. Take a some of us who are in authority. Do you understand? Yes, yes. And I tell you something, Mr. Malcolm. Sometimes I listen to some of the people on the calling program, like me tell you now. You see, this is a Neville, Neville Carter. I will listen to Neville Carter until tomorrow. Do you understand? Yes. And I want to tell you one thing. This country, I mean, I know it's some of us on the church. I pray. Yeah? Me, I pray. Because in a revival, because of certain parties, uh, who you are uh, in company of some people, because we can understand how one man was given permission to build 12 one bedroom homes. And they built, they built no two, one bedroom you know. in a bill, no one bedroom. In step it up to two bedroom and three bedroom. In a little country. Oh, look, all right. And then we, we submit my plan to 2011, you know, to build a two bedroom, you know. Right? I'm going to pay $50,000 for the billion plan, you know. I mean, for the first country, you know. $50,000, you know. So, me want to know, you know, how much for the school, you know. I mean, you know, 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 you and so it's not up to a 14 ton fragment take for one bedroom. And we build a 12 million one, you know. A 12 million that, right? Mm-hmm. And it's me not building no one bedroom. And we're going to build two. What I'm going to make taxes, what I'm going to do to you, what I'm going to do to you. Because you come out to build your first square feet, you know, as we put it up. So what I'm going to do to you, if you tax me your money, I don't want money that now, you know. And we sit down to back 
But that's where the auditors come come in. Come on, man. I will sit out and we have two line and tell do people come to So all right, then Mr. Farmer did me come with an order and tell you after. Hmm? No, sir. That one can't be man. No one to no one a taxi car. No one me taxi straight if you must collect them taxes there. And then building fee. Hmm? You know be no one baby, you might not be no one baby. Well, you have raised the subject now in a serious way. Mm-hmm. Mr. 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 And then three bedroom with a car go forty at million. Eh? Some of them have a heart. Eh? And you have building something for yourself. Can you not live there? And you deprive me of my building fee? Oh, and all the thing about my this man. Hey, you know what? Mr. Malcolm, everything can run out and I go enough. Everything clear now. You just look and tell the time is fire. But a lot of it is running underground already. I'm going to tell you that you don't know, make sense. You're going to need to redeem it or Hold on, please. Hold on. Hold on. We have to go to the commercial break. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now. 3.15. It's a new year with new savings. Get ready to renovate your space at home and things. Enjoy up to 50% off select items. Unbeatable prices on porcelain, ceramic, and mosaic tiles. Extra specials on Spanish tiles, bathroom fixtures, faucets, windows and doors, beautiful lighting, home decor, and lots of new arrivals. There's no better time to create that new look. Enjoy new year savings at home and things. Old Rope Road and Constant Spring Road. Jamaica builds with home Knowing that I have to go Well, they're putting up resistance But I know that my faith will lead me on I can say what life will show me But I know what I've seen I can say where life will lead me But I know where I've been Try to hear that love and friendship But all that is past and gone This little boy is moving on Thanks for holding. Please continue. Or did we lose him? Sorry about that. Please feel free to call back 876 922 41125. Text line 876 365 3346. Remember, coming up at 3.30 this afternoon, it will be time for Your Legal Corner with U.S. Immigration Attorney Delia Walker-Huntington. So come prepared with your many questions on U.S. immigration matters. And uh, Delia Walker-Huntington will be more than happy to help you resolve whatever issues you're having 
with respect to U.S. immigration matters. So get ready for that, listeners. Coming up at 3.30 this afternoon, your legal corner with U.S. immigration attorney Delia Walker Huntington. Here's a call, another call, this time coming through on the text line, same as the WhatsApp number. 876-365-3346. Hello, good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Good afternoon, Mr. Nerva. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Churchman. Churchman here, sir. Welcome, Churchman. Yes, sir. Um, I'm calling you about Mr. Nerva. Um, you know, I'm calling you from poor us. And, you know, I always say uh, condition, you know, what's happening. You know, the government kind of neglect us here at poor us. But... I went to a place the other day, Mr. Derva, they call it St. Paulis. And when I was going there, Mr. Derva, I don't know if you could, maybe one of these, day you could come and have a program in the community, as I said. If you saw the condition of the place, so they dig out some holes, Mr. Derva. The person named dig out the place, dig out. I was surprised, Mr. Derva, because I was saying if we really have a government that would allow that. Hello? We're listening. Yes, sir, because um, when I look at the destruction, Mr. Derva, and you know, I know that um, it is global warming and all uh, this thing. Um, you know, the Bible pretty much have a lot of famine and all these things. So, you know, you don't have any fruit tree. Nobody planted back any fruit tree and all these things. And I don't think the government should allow these things because I don't think you could go to America and do these things. You think so, Mr. Lerma? Things like what? Dig out the earth, man, and you mean the mind out mind out areas no but I, wouldn't they have had to do that kind of work under under the direction and instruction of 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 uh, senior people in the organization, you can't just do it, dig up the place and go about your business and leave it like that. Uh, so I say, if you could um, one day have your program, you know, the community man, right? So you could come in the communities and see. What really happened in the country? Because I don't think you could have government where allow this. Because if you destroy it now, what happened to those that are coming out of us? You know, the, the, the younger generation, you know. So I don't think it's right. So, in the government, we allow, you know, the money. Because you come like um, I'm a prostitute in the country, the money, and the younger one coming now. This, because I have a problem with famine and all these things, global warming, you know, terrible destruction and so on. Well, I don't know if you could have government and all them something, so because you can't have America and do it. You think that was a good No, I mean, there are a lot, of, a lot of laws that are in place. And in any case, America is one of the one of the most litigious countries in the world. It means that they're quick to draw for their lawyer or to take on legal matters or, or take le the legal route to pursuing their yes. particular ends. Uh -huh. Yes. I heard that in America, if you have a tree, that you plant a tree by your tail, I will cut down that tree. I heard that you have to go to the authority and seek their permission. I don't know if that is the truth. Is there any truth to that, sir? Well, it's not hard to believe. It is highly likely. Yes. 
So I don't think government, both of them, sir, I don't think you could have really have government and allow this. And the people, sometimes the money, them, them drive you with the money, so them buy out the place. But the money not going really to last long because the money not have no use. But if you plant a two tree and so, you could live on one tree in you know, 30, 40 years, mm. 50 years, one tree. So the money didn't give you last one, two years or so. So, it's a little bit, I don't think so. The people then should um, continue and allow the government. You know, those people who are living in those communities should write up against those persons that are mining the place. And say, no, enough is enough. Because when I drive around St. Louis, and if you go harm and it's worse, you know, it's some deep hole in us, some sinkhole, you know. And I don't think so, I don't think much they come like this. You know, they must damage the country, so they have a... So, so, um... They must have a... You know? We're still listening. Yeah, man, there's a lot of people who don't care about um, it's a car they have about, but... It's going to be a problem where um, the election coming, I don't really... saw the people coming around the... Um, where they work in the communities, I don't know what them working on, but we don't see a man who wants to work, man. It's abandoned, it's abandoned, it's abandoned, the market then turn it into a um, garbage dump. It's not a good one, yeah? Really? Garbage dump, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a good one, I'm inviting up for us. No, man, remember we have... D- we have done we have done a few broadcasts from Poros actually, at least two I can remember. At least two. One was at uh one was at a car mart uh operated by this very well known Jamaican businessman. And the other one was to showcase and highlight the, the market and the craft market as well within yeah. within Poland. That's the problem with Mr. Derman. We, um, we start the walk through, man. We walk through talking to people and broadcast at the same time. We did, we did interview the people. We did interview the people. We always do interview the people of the community. Yes, but we walk through and look at the condition, and you know, I think it's more better that people them feel more welcome and then you can say, well, Mr. Derman. We did we we did walk through. We did walk through. We didn't just go there and sit down in the pit and sit down somewhere. No man. We were moving about. Oh she did not move on the start of the road back on the whole road. See the garbage down, the market turn. No, I don't re- I don't recall going to the very back. Oh. That's the problem. You should go to the back and you see what the destruction. Poor us, I can't poor us and I tell you. Which was a bustling place, you know, first time, you know, the train running and business going good. It was a good place. But we call the two parties that were abandoned for us, the PMP and the Labour, right? When they abandoned for us, so, you know, for us, now it's had a run down. I don't know them plan to really destroy for us, but it's a run down thing right now in for us, you know, because the two parties. You know, them, them mash it up, right? Mm-hmm. And there's so much potential here for us. So much land and all these things, giving up people that many can face here. So, it's a good one. You take care of that, you know, you take care of just You too. Like this, you think, you know? Thank yeah. you for the call. Take care. Bye-bye. This is your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM. Remember, coming up at 3.30, it will be time for Your Legal Corner with U.S. Immigration Attorney Dahlia Walker-Huntington. And we're looking forward to your uh, participation. This message says, good evening, Mr. Durvan. I am Mr. Steve. I have listened to your program for the past five to six years, and I have learned a lot. I love your programs. Keep up the good work. It's very kind of you to say. Thank you very much for your message, Mr. Steve. Here's another one. Well, another. this one is a series of messages, now a thread of messages. Uh, 
or threads of messages. Good afternoon, Mr. Malcolm. That spot of road on Waltham Park Road in front of Woodpecker Avenue that badly needs repair, if they want that spot of road for about three months, they can do it the way they normally do it. But if they want it to last for about 10 years or more, they should use concrete like how they do it on the same Waltham Park Road. That spot is a waterbed. So let's see how they're going to fix it. Maybe they plan to do so. Those additional rooms from beginning. What I want to know is how much more it would cost the developer to do it how they have it now so we can know how much the country lost. And the final of, of the most recent threads of messages from Horace, otherwise known as Spider, says, can someone tell me how much in that can Mr. McKenzie tell? I think he is an expert on these things. Thank you very much for your messages. As we've indicated, coming up in a matter of seconds now, it will be time for your legal corner with U.S. immigration attorney, Dahlia Walker Huntington. I don't know where life will lead me, but I know where I've been. I can't say what life will show me, but I know what I've seen. I might end that love and friendship, but all that is fast and gone. This little boy. Help us protect Jamaica's borders. Tell us about any illegal guns coming through customs controlled areas. Call Crime Stop at 311. The time by the Jamaica Customs Agency is 3.30. It's a new year with new savings. Get ready to renovate your space at home and things. Enjoy up to 50% off select items on digital prices on porcelain, ceramic, and mosaic tiles. Extra specials on Spanish tiles, bathroom fixtures, faucets, windows and doors, beautiful lighting, home decor, and lots of new arrivals. There's no better time to create that new look. Enjoy New Year savings at home and things. Old Hope Road and Con Spring Road, Jamaica Builds with Home and Things. Poor roads, a major concern? What about those drains that are in need of repair or cleaning? Who's responsible for repairing my road and when will it be done? Join us this and every Tuesday morning at 8 during Morning Agenda as we travel on our roads with the National Works Agency and get answers to these and other concerns. You're welcome to visit their website at www.nwa.gov.jm. See the tender notices link for projects to be undertaken. You may also call them toll free at 1-888-429-5NWA. That's 1-888-429-5692. Or follow them on Twitter at NWA underscore JA and Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash NWA Jamaica. The National Works Agency, developing safe, reliable, and quality roads. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere. It's onespotmedia.com. Watch your favorite local program or listen to your favorite radio station from anywhere in the world. On your tablet, smartphone, or personal computer. Download the app now and keep up to date with your favorite local programs on TVJ. Check us out at onespotmedia.com. Follow us on Instagram, facebook.com, slash onespotmedia, and subscribe now. Join us every Sunday for Indian Talent on Parade with Dr. Winston Tolan from 5 to 6 p.m. Listen and learn all you need to know about the Indian community, culture, and music. That's Indian Talent on Parade with Dr. Winston Tolan, 5 to 6 p.m. every Sunday. 
right here on Power 106 FM and the Power 106 FM app. Welcome to Your Legal Corner on Power 106 FM, your source of information for all matters regarding U.S. immigration. Call in with your questions and concerns on 876-922-4112-5. You can send a text or WhatsApp message to 876-279-8598. Time now for your legal corner during both sides of the story, right here on Power 106 FM. It is a Thursday afternoon, just after 3.30, and you know what that means. Time for Your Legal Corner with U.S. Immigration Attorney Dahlia Walker-Huntington. The numbers to call, 876-922-4112-5. In fact, 411, yes, 4112-5, the text line, same as the WhatsApp number for Power 106 FM. It's 876-279-8598. Any questions in relation to U.S. immigration, you've come to the right place. That number is, again, the text line, same as the WhatsApp number for your legal corner, 876-279-8598. 876-279-8598. And the regular call in lines, 876-922. 4112 to 5. 876-922-4112-5. Any questions at all to do with U.S. immigration matters? This is the time. Over to you, our faithful listeners at home and abroad. So what do we have here? Here's what we have so far. This message says, good afternoon, lawyer. I was living in the U.S. illegally. You know what? Please bear with me. Let's, I'm sorry, just so anxious to go straight into it. But let's first of all greet our host on this week's edition of uh, Your Legal Corner during both sides of the story here on Power 106 FM. Here's U.S. immigration attorney, Dahlia Walker Huntington. Hi, Norman. How are you? I am fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well, but I'm having one of those days as well. Everything is moving at warp speed today. Warp speed. <laughs> I can well understand. Yes. But you're obviously keeping up. I, I'm trying to. I am trying desperately. I, I'm, I'm fighting to keep up. Fighting to keep up. <laughs> And quite a bit of that, if you don't... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, let's go ahead and, and get the listeners, because they seem to be also anxious to get their questions answered today. <clears throat> well, let's get to it then. So this message says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, lawyer. I was living in the U.S. illegally, got locked up for some smoking weed for my own use after getting bail, did not turn up for court, got deported in 2004. My file, my file for me, I don't know, my file for me in 2005, somebody filed for you, I would imagine, in 2005, got a date for medical, then a date for interview at the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica which I was told by the immigration officer that he can't grant me a visa because I pleaded guilty to the charges. But I did not go back to court, so I couldn't plead guilty. Can you give me some advice, please? Thank you. Okay, so... One of the first things I say to people in this situation is that we need to get their file. We need to get your file from immigration. Um, most times when you get the file from immigration, it also includes the, the underlying criminal charges. Um, 
if you didn't go back to court, then a warrant would have been issued um, for this person's arrest. So there, there are lots of unknowns here. Um, and on the officer's, um, the consular officer's records, it's showing that there's a, a guilty, a guilty plea um, or, or a conviction of guilty for the offense. So we, we need to know a lot of things. We need to know what the underlying offense was, what was the actual charge, what was the disposition of the charge, meaning was there um, a guilty plea or not? Is there an outstanding warrant? Um, for this person. We need to know um, all of that. So I would suggest that the person, if they're serious about um, returning, is to seek counsel with an attorney and, you know, get the files, have it reviewed and see what was the quantity of weed that they had in their possession and is there a waiver. Because even if you pled guilty to a, a charge of possession of ganja. If it was under 30 grams, then a waiver should have been available for the person um, who was deported. And you know why were they deported? Uh, it, at the time of deportation, if you had a conviction for possession of ganja for under 30 grams, then um, there should have been a waiver available to this person. So lots of unknowns here, many of which will be solved um, or answered, I should say, once an attorney receives the file from immigration and then uh, goes through it with a fine tooth comb. Okay. All right. Here's another one. Okay. Good day, Miss Dahlia, Mr. Durban. Filed for my filed for by my son. Went to interview and medical early December 2023. Uh, What's this now? 221G marriage certificate and mm -hmm. and the police, which I send in the same day. I did medical. They have updated my case on the 22nd of January. Should I concern, should I be concerned not getting the visa as yet? Not really, they're processing. So the 221G is a form that they give asking for additional documents. So the person is saying whatever they asked for, they gave it to them on the same date, but the file was just updated um, two, three days ago. So you still have to give them some more time to process that information and to advise the status of the um, of the visa. So he or she should keep um, checking the the online status and it should say uh, visa issued in probably about 30 days or so. Then if not, um, they can send an email to the immigrant visa section to, to check on the status. But um, what was it they wanted again? The uh, marriage certificate and what? Uh, marriage certificate and police, maybe police record. Police. Just says okay, marriage certificate. So there's nothing on the police record if there's no arrest. Mm -hmm. um, and they just wanted that. And they, they sh it shouldn't be a difficulty. But, um, you know, I'm just making an assumption here. I don't know the specifics of the case. But if they ask you just to produce your, uh, a new police record and you've never been arrested, then there shouldn't be a problem. And they wanted the marriage certificate, then it shouldn't be a problem. And uh, there's, okay. a, I think this might be connected to the same person, F2B category. Priority date is September 2017. Can you advise how long before the process is completed? Okay, so F2B, this would be a different, um, a different filing. F2B is the a green card holder filing for their adult unmarried son or daughter. Uh, the visas are available in that category for persons with a priority date earlier than October 1 of 2015. Okay. And so that's, that's the time frame. You know, they, and as we know, they don't move forward a month at a time. So Come February, this is in January, come February, they may be at the same date. I don't know. I haven't checked the February visa bulletin yet. Mm -hmm. 
what is the oh hold on let's just change dramatically hold on what, da, 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 da. what is the purpose of a waiver that's in one box and then in the other box i was revoked for six years or maybe is it or the documents the, the document was revoked i don't know i was revoked for six years it's already gone can't afford an immigration lawyer I need to do another MRI. It was done in 30 years ago. Now my spine is getting worse. It was done in Florida. Okay, sounds to me, and again, we don't have all the information here. Sounds to me as if the person had a visa, um, and but they can't travel again. The visa was revoked and they can't come back to the US and they want to return um for medical purposes so we haven't said why the visa was revoked why they're inadmissible to the united states but if you're inadmissible to the united states in this context a non-immigrant visa context then you would need to convince the the u.s embassy that they should grant you a non-immigrant waiver to allow you to travel to the united states to seek the medical um condition medical attention that they're looking for so a way the, the, that's the purpose of a waiver is to say i am inadmissible for abc reasons but i'm asking you to waive my inadmissibility and grant me the visa um because of xyz reasons you know that's just a summary not as simple as that but basically that's to summarize the purpose of a waiver. I see. And here's another mm -hmm. message. Green card holder filed for citizenship, but missed the appointment date. How long will it take for a new date? Uh, for, for, for getting a uh, new date? Good evening. I couldn't say that, but you need to immediately uh, notify USCIS that you were unable to keep your date and you'd like to be re-interviewed. It's up to them when they schedule it. Okay. Listeners, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, Your Legal Corner with U.S. Immigration Attorney Dahlia Walker-Huntington. She's standing by for more of your questions. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now 3.45. You're listening to Your Legal Corner. Your source of information on all matters regarding U.S. immigration. You can call in with your questions and concerns on 876-922-41125. You can send a text or WhatsApp message to 876-279-8598. Now, back to your legal corner during both sides of the story on Power 106 FM. <laughs> You're listening to Your Legal Corner during both sides of the story here on Power 106 FM. I'm Dervan Malcolm. It's the program where all your questions having to do with immigration matters are dealt with. Whatever the U.S. immigration matters that you have, feel free to call 876-922-4112 to 5. That's 876-922-4112 to 5. The text line and the WhatsApp number are one and the same. The Power 106 FM text line and WhatsApp number 876 Two seven nine eight five nine eight for your messages, your WhatsApp messages, your text messages, eight seven six two seven nine eight five nine eight. And we just before we take some more of your messages, Ms. Dahlia, any anything anything stands out for you? in relation to U.S. immigration matters at, at this stage? Just a 
quick yeah uh, one thing that stands out is not very good it, um some time ago and i can't even remember how long ago uscis had said that they were they put out some proposed um fee increases and uh, it you know it has to go through certain uh regulations and procedures uh within the u.s government before they can institute the um actually it was january of last year they issued the proposed rules well um word came down through the immigration um body the immigration lawyer body that they uh believe any time now that the fees are going to actually be implemented. So we people need to be on, on notice and those who, you know, we've been saying if you have somebody who you're filing for, you need to you need to do this sooner rather than later. Sometimes people put off and put off and put off. Well I can tell you that the filing fees are going to be um, increased dramatically. So if you have something pending you should try to get that in as quickly as possible. Okay, useful information. Yeah. I see Violet White is anxious to get uh, just some contact information, but please listen uh, for, the, for the announcement towards the end, Violet White, uh, in terms of the information, the general information, uh, in terms of how to get in touch with uh, uh, your legal corner with Dahlia Walker Huntington and related matters. All right, so in the meantime, let's continue with more here on Your Legal Corner with US immigration attorney, Delia Walker Huntington. Remember, we're taking your calls on 876-922-4112 to five, 876-922-4112 to five. And the text line is the same as the WhatsApp number for your legal corner whether it's whatsapp or text it's 876 279 8598 876 279 8598 and uh, oh this person is asking what's your cost to reopen my deportation you don't have that discussions not discussion normally on air do you no, we, we we certainly do not, and um, you know that's that is always a slippery slope. Uh, when persons are deported, they often feel that they were wrongfully deported, and it, it takes so much time to delve into a case file of a person who has been deported to see if there were any missteps taken um to try to get them back and i can tell you dervon um in my years of practice i would i want to say maybe two people um you know we've said look you definitely should not have been deported and we make the moves to try to get them to to go back so and 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 what is for it is cost prohibitive for people um, to delve into their immigration uh, matter after they've been deported. And we, I am always upfront to say, look, no matter what you are charged, uh, you need to be prepared to hear that there's nothing that can be done. And sometimes people don't want to hear that um, because they want you to give them assurances, but an attorney is paid for their time um, and their advice. And sometimes their advice is, there's nothing that can be done. So, um, you know, people people just need to hear and understand that it is it is an expensive process because it's very time consuming. And at the end of the day, you may hear, sorry, there's there are no there are no avenues for you to go back. You're listening to Your Legal Corner with U.S. immigration attorney Delia Walker Huntington during both sides of the story here on Power 106 FM. Taking your calls on 876-922-4112-5, 876-922-4112-5.
The text line is the same as the WhatsApp number for your legal corner, 876-279-8598, 876-279-8598. Another message for you, Ms. Dahlia. Should I? Yeah, before we, before Sorry, we go, go ahead. That message, I want, mm -hmm. want to make a clarification. When I say um, only two people have gone back, this is without waivers. You know, there are many, many waivers that we have done um, for, for persons to be able to go back. But when there are errors in the file, I'm talking about just flat out errors in, in the deportation. There have been two in 25 years. Um, and scores of other waivers that we have done we, we do a lot of waivers in in my in my office um and we are you know we're sought out for the for, for representation on the waiver because we're very thorough with it but in terms of there just being errors in the file um there have been two in 25 years all right here's another one yeah. Should I not be concerned about not getting through already? The last update was on Monday. And this is... Oh, this is the same, same. as from before. Yes. So if you're concerned about not getting through, send them an email. If you don't want to wait, send them an email. I don't know what the, the depth of the, the processing is and why, why the... Um, they have held on to, to the file. So if you're concerned, send an email and ask for an update. Mm -hmm. You're listening to Your Legal Corner with U.S. immigration attorney Dahlia Walker Huntington during uh, both sides of the story here on Power 106 FM, taking your calls on 876-922-4112-5, 876 922 and the text line is the same as the WhatsApp number for your legal corner. It's 876-279-8598. 876-279-8598. It's your opportunity to get your U.S. immigration questions answered during uh, your legal corner with Dahlia Walker Huntington. So we still have a little time. And uh, we are taking more of your calls and your messages. So feel free to get in before it's time to wrap. So here's another message, Miss Dahlia. Hi, Mr. Malcolm and lawyer. How long after receiving your citizenship can I marry my spouse and start the process of filing for her? Okay, first of all, not your spouse until you get married. Okay. Um, girlfriend, fiance, but not your spouse until you're legally married. That's number one. Number two, you can do it the next day. The next day. There is no waiting period. Okay. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's 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 continue in uh, on, on today's edition of Your Legal Corner with U.S. Immigration Attorney Dahlia Walker Huntington. And uh, the lines are open for your usual questions, queries, and uh, contributions in respect of uh, U.S. immigration matters. Remember, once it's a U.S. immigration matter, this is the program, this is the time. And those numbers, once again, 876 922 Four one one two to five eight seven six nine two two four one one two to five, and the text line same as the WhatsApp number for land for your legal corner, and that's eight seven six two seven nine eight five nine eight eight seven six two seven nine eight five nine eight. Have I'm not sure the extent to which you've been able to to follow these uh, debates, election debates in the in the U.S. But is it is it fair to say it's the it's the same old discussions, the same old debates, or well, <laughs> not? <laughs> I've decided to, and I have not watched one. I didn't watch any of the Republican debates because I felt that they were all performative and 
as you can see, everybody has dropped out and left two, mm -hmm. um, two contenders. One of the two did not participate in any of the debates. And the, realistically, for the second person to become the nominee, it's, um, I don't know if she has the money to stay in the entire time up until the convention. But, um, you know, it's looking like we're going to have a repeat of the 2020 um, elections where the, the person who ran on the Republican ticket is going to be the nominee again. So this will be his third election because uh, we had 2016, 2020, and now 2024, it appears as if he's going to be the nominee. And also the incumbent president will be the nominee for the Democrats. So mm -hmm. those debates I will watch, but certainly not did not decided I was not going to um to to watch the um the other Republican debates. So nothing decidedly different. <laughs> no, it's you know it's a bit uh, a bit performative, pandering and catering to what they call the quote unquote base mm -hmm. and having um you know, ridiculous statements made in order to to win the base in the in the primary. This is this is what happens in every election cycle in the United States because they go through a primary to see who is going to be the party's nominee. And traditionally who votes in the primary elections are the diehards for both parties. Uh, people who follow politics and who are committed to their candidates. And so the, the, the candidates cater to them. And when it comes now to the general election, when it is the entire country um, that is paying attention, uh, members of both parties, as well as independents, the candidates then tend to pivot to a more general um, a more general appeal, mm -hmm. except of course, the candidate who has been the Republican nominee um, for the last two elections, mm -hmm. he did not pivot um, and he won one election and he lost the other. So, uh, you know, it, it'll be an interesting election <laughs> to say the least, um, Durban, very interesting. Indeed. Very interesting. And you, we, we, we basically know what both, both candidates are like as presidents, because one has been a president before and one is the president now. So it, you know, it's not much that they are going to tell you that you don't know about them. So right. it comes down basically to a matter of choice. Indeed. It's a matter of choice. Do you want to continue with the president you have or do you want to go back to the 2016, 2020 era um, in the United States? That's the bottom line. Well, thank you very much for the clarity, Delia Walker-Huntington. Always a pleasure. We'll allow you to respond to Violet, Violet on Facebook Live, who is asking if you can please drop the lawyer's information in the chat room, asking me. Well, sure. Uh, sure, we can do sure. that. Sure. So, sure, to reach, to reach me in the United States, we practice immigration law throughout the United States and family law in Florida. It's 954-963-8555, 954-963-8555 to schedule a consultation. To schedule a consultation uh, in Jamaica, there is a Jamaica number, 876-NUMBERS, 876-969-9666, that's 969-9666 or 925-0949, and we do consultations via the telephone, in person, or via or virtually via Zoom. And I noticed one of our listeners who's actually not Jamaican, but very, very connected to Jamaica in her way, uh, Renee, she says, save the world, save the world vote for Biden Americans. Um, <laughs> well, we'll leave that there for now. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Thank you, Bill. One pleasure as always. Until next time. Be good. I'll do my best. And you do likewise. Right. Take care. Thank you. I will. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. You've just listened to Broad Eagle Corner. 
your source of information for all matters regarding U.S. immigration. Join us next Thursday at 3.30 p.m. for your legal corner during both sides of the story, right here on Power 106 FM. At Wellington Dental, they offer cleaning, filling, whitening, and other services for the entire family. The time by Wellington Dental is... 402 on Power 106. Or roads a major concern? What about those drains that are in need of repair or cleaning? Who's responsible for repairing my road and when will it be done? Join us this and every Tuesday morning at 8 during Morning Agenda as we travel on our roads with the National Works Agency and get answers to these and other concerns. You're welcome to visit their website at www.nwa.gov.jr. See the tender notices link for projects to be undertaken. You may also call them toll-free at 1-888-429-5NWA. That's 1-888-429-5692 or follow them on Twitter at NWA underscore JA and Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash NWA Jamaica. The National Works Agency, developing safe, reliable, and quality roads. Que hora es en español? Son las cuatro y cuatro. Quelle heure est-il en français les 4 h 4 C'est ça. Tidian le, si dien liang si fen. Four minutes past four o'clock in the afternoon here at Broadcast House 32 Lindhurst Road, Kingston 5, St. Andrew, Jamaica. Have you had a checkup lately? If not, now is a good time. Let's not wait till we get sick to get a checkup. How about that? Checking in with more on your program, both sides of the story, Power 106 FM. Taking your calls on 876-922-4112-5. 876-922-4112-5. The text line, same as the WhatsApp number, 876-365-3346. 876-365-3346. And a couple of other messages. Horace, otherwise known as Spider, says, I don't think they should hit down the buildings. What they should do is triple the cost of what they would normally pay, like how they do the traffic tickets, like how they do the... Uh, and, and, and something is missing here. Like how they do the traffic tickets and deterrent. Okay. Thank you very much. To the phone lines once again, 876 922 5 Good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Good afternoon. Sounds like you have one of those telephone lines this afternoon. Not sure how we're going to manage. Uh, um, I just want to share my thoughts on the damage to life after the job by studio. It resulted from a stadium loss in the population of our livestock. Sorry, we'd really love to hear you, but the, your voice alone is muffled, and then there's a terrible hum in the background. So it's a double whammy. What can I do? Is it possible to just hang up and call back? Can you try that? I will try it. Please, please, please. Try it and let's see what happens. Thanks for the call. This is your program, Both Sides of the Story. Power 106 FM still streaming live on the Gleaners website, go-jamaica.com, live on your smart devices all over the world. Taking your calls on 876 5 Winston Hines says, greetings, Malcolm, with great information as usual to inform everyone. Minister Hines in Florida, your original listener. Good to have you on board, Minister Hines in Florida. Stephen Barnes says, lawyer, respect the American system. It has been good to you. And uh, Stephen Barnes says, don't knock the process. All right, so messages coming in there. And... Uh, 
We read this one already from Renee in, uh, where is it again? Where is she? In Detroit, in Detroit, I believe, in Michigan. Let's continue with more on your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM. Taking your calls on 876-922-4112-5. 876-922-4112-5. Text line 876-365-3346. 876 876- Three six five, three three four six, and going through. Let's let's try the phone again. Hello, good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Good afternoon, my professor. Good afternoon, Mr. Carter. Good afternoon, listeners and valuable callers. Listen to this, Devon and listeners. There was a man in America who was who heard me call this program and he was asking for my number. I, I, I finally gave him my number, Mr. Malcolm. I want to thank you very much. The gentleman came down from New York to attend to the salute and I met up with him and I tell you, it was very, very enlightening, you know? And when I met the gentleman, he looked so young, Dervan. I just said, I can't believe it's you. You look like a little boy. He said, no. And he tell me how he go about his diet and things. I know he doesn't drink soda. And I tell you, I want to thank this program. And I want to thank the gentleman. And we exchanged gifts in a Dervan. <laughs> yeah, I gave him a merchandise that I built for him, you know. I hope he liked it. And he gave me a, 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 a signature watch. Tell ya. Devon. Yes, sir. Good people better than pocket money, eh? Yeah? Better believe it. Yeah, and he, and, and he showed me some tips of the people who is in his circle, who he move around with. Mm-hmm. Your company, Devon. The company that you keep. Mm-hmm. Very important to your, to your state of mind, therefore. Yeah. You have to associate yourself with people who mean you good and who can uplift you. That's right. I tell you, I'm, I, I'm very delighted to both sides of the story for this experience in my life. And I wish, I wish that many more people should reach out to other people and try to know them. Therefore, you need a link up in a Right. right in the yard of RGR, outside of the story link up, so that we can meet and greet each other and so we can grow this movement into a community. Because mm-hmm. the real thing don't start yet in a Dervan. I'm listening to this. You see in Russia, you have a lot of demonstration going on in Russia right now to get rid of Vladimir Putin. But at the same time, you have a lot of people supporting Putin and they keep in what you call a um, town hall meeting, yeah? And at a town hall meeting, one of the citizens asks the Putin representative who is a general in the army, why is it that Putin and the government has, has put the world in this dilemma and risking a nuclear war? And you the general team. Don't be afraid of nuclear war because Russia won't be the first to launch the nuclear war. And Russia don't want to be the second. There is only one country that has ever used nuclear weapon against humanity and that is America. And he says Russia has better weapon than nuclear weapon to defend itself. So the young man asked him, what is that? You know what he said? Cyber attack. They can use their cyber technology and close down your commerce, close down your Wi-Fi and your technology. Mm-hmm. And that will be more devastating than a nuclear weapon. That's what he told like, the young man. You know? Yeah, that's that's been that's been happening for a little while now, though. 
Thank you. Devon, I would advise everybody who listening to this program to tell your neighbor and tell your friend and tell your family member. Any document that you have inside the system, the banking system, or your phone or your contact, write them in a diary so that you have a hard copy as a backup. <laughs> and one of the admirable thing about the Russians, you know, Devon, you see the married woman in Russia whose soldier husband is at war. They are marching against Putin. And in Israel, those loved ones who are missing, they too are marching against Netanyahu government. They want to see back their loved ones. How vital is a loved one, Devon? As vital as the blood coursing through your veins. Thank you, Professor Delvan. Don't you going to need each other to stay in the game, Delvan? No more than ever. No more than ever. So we should be trying to live like one big happy family. Ideally. In this country. Mm -hmm. Because you know, at the end of the day, when you study Hamas, you see that group named Hamas, mm -hmm. and Hezbollah, you hear they call them terrorists, they are not real terrorists in the true sense of the word in other words. It's like some people that I would have called some gunman is worse than Hamas. And let me tell you two reasons why. Hamas, Hamas fighters pray to Allah three times a day. And you see dear woman, dear woman, they married to them, you know? and, and dear women are loyal to their men. And they, they, they don't go around flirting with other men. And they support their men on the back of field in any way they can. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be, Devon, don't. Yep. Jeez, um, hold, the, hold the line. One moment. One moment, please. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now. 4.15. Here is a financial literacy tip from your friends at Power 106 FM. Record your expenses. The first step to start saving money is figuring out how much you spend. Keep track of all your expenses. That means every coffee, household item, and cash tip, as well as regular monthly bills. Record your expenses however it's easiest for you. A pencil and paper, a simple spreadsheet, or a free online spending tracker or app. Once you have your data, organize the numbers by categories such as gas, groceries, and mortgage, and total each amount. Use your credit card and bank statements to make sure you've included everything. Just before we get you, we turn you over, well, just before we get back to Neville Carter, uh, I see Rene has been a little more precise. Rene Beckley, uh, who is not a Jamaican, but uh, Jama she's still she's in love with Jamaica. She's in love with Jamaica. She is in Pontiac, Michigan, about 30 miles north of Detroit. And she uh, has been following us online for quite a number of years now, quite an, a long time. And we appreciate her listenership and support. Thank you very much, Renee Beckley. As we continue with more here on uh, both sides of the story, Power 106 FM. Thank you for holding. Yes, Mr. Carter, back with you. Yeah, that's a breaking news, Dervan. Uh -huh. China banned Coca-Cola. Why? It's not fit for human consumption. It is, a, it is a cleaning agent. Oh. Yeah, they say um, what it does to your body causes a lot of disease in your body. It, it, it is a real cleaning agent. I'm just wondering because this is taking us back to 1949. In 1949, a nationwide ban was imposed on Coca Cola draining the tasty fun from the daily lives of the Chinese people. The bottling plants that had once served as a beacon of hope during the throes of war now stood silent. Part of the, the history, Coca-Cola's history in China. That's, that's what we're seeing. 
They say that if you throw the Coca Cola into the toilet bowl, it can clean the toilet bowl better than a lot of a lot of cleaning detergent that you buy at the store. Yeah, well, apparently they have known this from since 1949. Yeah, but he, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Advertising is a hell of a thing. Mm -hmm. But back to the the war, Dervas. Nearly 200, 200 Israeli soldiers die in the war now. And over 25,000 Gazan bodies that they found. And they say about 30,000 is under the rubble. Now, Dervant, let me tell you this. I may mean, tell the listeners, let me give two suggestions on your program, Dervant. You hear they talk about productivity? And they say that they, 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 a lot of domestic violence going on and the Jamaican people not productive, Dervant. Well, I glimpsed something. Yeah, it was yesterday in traffic and it just happened so quickly. I I felt so helpless in that moment. Someone who was on the face of it appears to be getting a beating of sorts. But that was, it happened really, really fast in traffic. And it, it really made me sad, very sad that we continue to apply that kind of beating for from one adult to another. It should never happen. Devon, one of the reasons why, why so many poor people are in Jamaica is because the land on which they live and the land that they build their house most of the lands and the house don't have any real value to the market because of the crime that is among us. Well, the, the, well, technically speaking, the value the value is always about the land as far as real estate is concerned, not what you put on the land. Not what you put on the land, Dervon. The value is about the land. Mm -hmm. And did you know that they have a law in Jamaica if you miss three Property tax payment, the government can seize a lot, seize back the land. Because mm -hmm. nobody really owns any land. Either. You own the house that is on the land. Mm -hmm. Now, we as black people, we need to get our land to have more value in the inner city. You know? And one of the ways that we need to do that, we need to take a strict stand against crime and violence in our community and make sure we watch the boy Pitney and the girl child more, more closely in the event. Because one of the reasons why they can't reason is because most of them don't understand mathematics in the event. Believe it or not, Dervan, they don't understand how mathematics work. They listen to the news and they hear about this millions and billions of dollars that is circulating in the economy, and they don't understand how it works. Irvine, mm -hmm. I used to go to Jamaica College, you see? And I have a lot of friends who live in Beverly Hills, places like Norbrook, places like Millsboro. Still meet up with a lot of them when I see them in the supermarket. And you know where I used to live? I live in Arnett Garden. No, my father bought his house in Arnett Garden. And my mother still lives there at 81 with her grandchildren then. And one of my brothers stay back down there. And you see, that house in Arnett Gardens, if you should psychologically lift it up and carry it and drop it in Beverly Hills, all of a sudden it would value about 40 million. What caused that devil? It's a, it's a part of a system that measures quality and value. Quality and value. In but the same house in Arnett Gardens, she couldn't get two million for it today. Why? Yeah, it's a, it's a function of the, the matrix that they use, basically. It's, matrix um, that they all use, never. 
the the those who are in the in the tax office those who oh. work oh. under that umbrella it's, it, it, you know it's these things we need to fix you know these are the these are the qualitative values that we need to bring back into the economy to make sure that houses in places like Arnett Garden, some good house down there in the mm -hmm. Yes. Some good house in Arima, too, you know. some good house in Tivoli. You know. Did you know that the richest prisoner who is in prison right now is in Tivoli Garden, them come from? The richest prisoner. You know that, Devon? I don't have the details. But yeah, may I tell you, and that prisoner has a lot of real estate on the ground, as you speak. And a lot of good house down there, and the people them can't get no value for them house while it is in Tivoli Gardens or Arnett Gardens and many other communities there. Man. What you are saying is that it's a system that designed to undervalue these houses. And instead undermined itself by virtue of 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 the a seeming lack of respect in terms of the treatment and the rolling out of 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 the particular housing stock. What do you mean by that, Devon? Undervaluing itself. Mm -hmm. By virtue of how how the 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 units came into being, oh, and how oh, oh. The, the the nature and extent of the environment itself in its original state. As opposed to taking it to another level, which would then inure to the lifting of the the standards and ultimately the raising of the the value. The value, so that I, so that all my mother now at eighty one, she could have called my grandson, my 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 my, my grandson now. Anyone you know, our grandchildren, they might say, Michael, you know. You have been a good grandson to me, and I'm going to use my own stike. I'm going to borrow some money from the credit union, because she's a credit union woman. And I'm going to borrow four million from the credit union and send you to university instead of you going to the student loan. Don't you think that would be a good idea, Mr. Malcolm? Yeah. Well, at that mood, I like Mark Golden as the MP. Who won one of the biggest, biggest, um, what you call him, proven biggest investment house in Jamaica? Mm -hmm. to, to, to go down in any places like Arnett Garden, you have a lot of the builders, them in the politics, and bring in land survey and quantity survey and, and value the people, them house and the property that it's still on, and, and tell them at a town hall meeting, say, did you know that Arnett Garden's real estate? For about 60 billion Jamaican dollars, you're sitting down and down here. And if you keep it clean and maintain and stop the violence, you can do anything with this real estate. And, and places like JMMB and Jamaica National will take your title and lend your money. And it, why that cannot happen, my professor? Tell me, Mr. Malcolm. Yeah, well, you're talking about change. Change, change in World War III. Change, change. sir. Change. Yeah. It doesn't just up my head. You see, you are welcome. There is a force out there that is holding back people in this country. I may I tell you, I'll leave you with two things. Good about Jamaica today, the 25th of January, 24. You know that there is more work in Jamaica now, more employment opportunity. That when slavery was abolished. Hello? That's that's worth pondering. Yes, Mr. Malcolm, the people in Ed Africa fix, you know, Mr. Malcolm. Because you can't tell me that my mother at 81, living in Arnett Gardens, work all the day of her life, send one whole if I pick me through the system, and she get in. $16,000 a month for her NIS pension, plus her other factory pension that she get. 
which is that which is minuscule that thing that is about a five thousand a month. Can my mother not, not, not have a chastise me for talk? I'm not, not a secret name of this. I talk about Jamaica land, me love. And she living in her gardens in her house. So she buy from the ministry, her husband buy from the ministry of housing. And she can't use her land title after so long to borrow one four million dollars at any financial institution just because it is located in the Gardens. You know, there's something wrong with the politics, Mr. Malcolm. It's called location, location, location. Location, location, location. Mm-hmm. And, and one day you must tell me, where you must look, what is this location about? That's what makes all the difference in terms of the value of the property. Another thing that I like, Mark Golden must do in a community like this as part of it. They have a thing named Zozo Billback that they put it in the Zozo thing. Mm, zone of Special Operation. Yeah, like one of them here are under the same Zone of Special. Mm. You know, when I go up in a Mills Bar and Beverly's and Cherry Guard, me see swimming pool or some water fountain a, 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 a cool down the place. Why they can't build a swimming pool a, 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 in Tivoli Garden so that the people them can keep them pool part and see what, what that serenity would be to the children. Why right? why well, them can't have that? Mm-hmm. Or a swimming pool in Arnett Gardens over the over the Tony Sparling complex to, 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 to bring out a different ambience in the community. Yeah, that would have to be though importantly for that to work. It has to be a controlled environment. Yes. Controlled. Other than that it could become a nightmare. But it can be controlled, you know, Mr. Malcolm. Control. Even like how it, them control the politics for so long. Mm, without a doubt. Change. Change. Take yeah, but you, Mr. Malcolm. Did, what you mentioned about the children earlier on, the, the children of the, the young men of St. George's College back in, in 1850, the first subjects taught at St. George's included Latin, Greek, French, English, rhetoric, history, mathematics, logic, metaphysics, ethics, drawing, and calligraphy. Those were the subjects our students were being taught back in 1850. I'm going to leave it there. To be continued. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now 4.30. Welcome to the new dimension in eye care, the optical zone, offering exceptionally compatible eyewear. We fill prescriptions and do eye examinations. This complete optical store is conveniently located at Shop 14, York Plaza, Harper Tree. Telephone 929-8656. The Optical Zone, providing vision for life. Are you passionate about agriculture? Join hands with the Jamaica 4-H Clubs, the leading youth organization dedicated to supporting the next generation of youth participants in agriculture. Unleash your agricultural potential through our stimulatory and mastery level training, enterprise support programs, tractor operation and maintenance, along with our agricultural scholarships and bursaries to help you achieve your academic goals. Stay connected. Follow us on social media today at Jamaica 4-H Clubs. This the season and one spot media has a special gift for you and your family. Get 30% off our six-month subscription plan and receive one month free special access to Greener Premium. Dive into this world of exclusive content and enjoy live TV, live radio, thousands of hours of video on demand, the e-greener, events, podcasts, and more. Simply log into onespotmedia.com and purchase the six-month subscription plan. Get in with the joy of the holidays, all in one spot. Offer ends January 31. Conditions apply. Thanks a lot for staying with us on your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM at 28 minutes to 5 o'clock in the afternoon here at Broadcast House 32, Linders Road, Kingston 5, 
St. Andrew, Jamaica. Good afternoon to all the students listening to us, all the schoolers from the early childhood level, from the early childhood level to the secondary level. Trust you had a productive day of learning today. Hope you also managed to get in some physical activity, just as important as mental activity. As we always say, young people, socialization makes you educable. Education makes you trainable. Training makes you employable. And the right attitude makes you successful. Homework time, young people. And parents and guardians, do you know where your children are? Are they where they're supposed to be? Doing what they're supposed to be doing? It's a good time to check up on the children. A good time for us to continue with more on your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM. Taking your calls at 876 922 4112 5. 876 922 4112 5. Text line, same as the WhatsApp number, 876 365 3346. Mac, otherwise known as Bunty, is online. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. And as I've been saying this from the past few months, I've been listening and from the time we started until now. But what I've been saying, someone in the government will be monitoring your program to hear what people um, speak about as they do anything about it. Sorry, say that again. I was saying, if when we speak to you, if there's anyone in government opposition I will hear and do any monitor and do anything about what we have said. Yeah, the Jamaica Public Service Companies is a case in point. Okay. They have had so issues. Why I say this? Why right. I say this? Uh -huh. The majority of areas that we went are home and travel. The bus system. The coasters, the taxis, especially the, the, the coaster bus that carry children, school children. Have the police ever stopped any of them and charged them to see if they can get a better traveling situation? You cannot hear your ears, you can't hear not even your phone, you can listen. This boom boom and it's not so. It's not just the size and if it was even past the size, it was something that they can turn down normal. But almost every individual now have a device can listen to them for or put what they want to put on it to pay. And the buses been dancing like a dance at the times. Offer it to you both at the wrong time. You sound like you sound like you're in the room speaking at a distance into into the device. You're 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 a little distant. What I'm saying. Can you get closer? Coaster, all these coaster buses. I haven't seen any changes between into all these music boom 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 boom. If you're following, you cannot even hear it. And I've seen nothing done about it for the past few months now. Well this this I'm wondering if anybody will be monitoring these things. Yeah, the suggestion oh is the, 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 what we know is that we're supposed to take pictures of the license plates, of the registration plates. Take a picture of the registration plate for the particular vehicle. And if there's a particular unique mark on the, on the vehicle, make a note of that. Take a picture of it and, and submit the pictures through WhatsApp for these, through, through the transport authority. There's a there's an app. I don't remember the, the name of the app now, but there is an app for that. Well, I would appreciate if they make it more public. That app and similar this thing. What I'm saying it we charge in one six two. So I want to know if there are any posts that are on where we can look at the share that we don't pay more than what we should pay. Taking that up was from Hinswood. High school to Spanish, so we have to pay one fee for the and the cost about the same way. So I don't understand. Yeah, you can report the matter to the to the transport authority if it's uh 
Yeah, the Transport Authority, and there's also the JUTC as well. But they do have, there's, there's a particular app which I've interviewed representatives of, of, of that, uh, of that, of that organization. Uh, so the idea is just to take a picture if there are vehicles, if there are motorists driving public passenger vehicles who are breaching the road code, you take a picture and you send it to the, to the, to the WhatsApp, the, um, what do you call it? The transport authority. Mr. Malcolm, as I was saying, pertaining uh, your, your, your listener that just come out before he come down. We've been saying about value of houses and all of these things, and we should live as one. But Mr. Malcolm, I want to say we must take time off. How do that everybody believe in the writing? And is that everybody believe what the Bible really teaches? But many people right now claim they are Christian, and they are saying if God will not come, if He will not write down, He will not reach already. But I want to make a reference where if you have a five-year-old in your house and an 18-year-old, if you put out that 18-year-old, the authority won't come and interrogate you. Know. But if you put out the five-year-old, I think they will don't learn you like a heart. So that's the thing with you. The Father, God giving us time to prepare ourselves like a time and hour, but everybody read about that. Now, we were warning for a hundred and eighty years, and nobody took heed until when Noah finished the ark and went into the ark. When the rain started to fall, everybody started running up and down until the flood came and washed them all away. And so it began. At this time, we cannot expect government to do all what they've been doing and to do it right. So there is no government in the history of the universe can bring peace among us as humans. Why? Revelation 12, 9. I'd like people to look at what Revelation 12, 9, first John 5, 19 said. And when they had that ample time, read the Bible and see what they gain from it. And do not win on their own understanding. Have a blessing from all of All the best. Same to you. Take care. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye. This is your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM. Rudolph in Stony Hill says, good afternoon, Sir Malcolm. Hope you're well and up. Want to mention the coaster buses that ply the Golden Spring to downtown route. These buses only running from halfway tree to Stony Hill when them should go from Golden Spring to town. Why them do this is because it's one fair, one fair go everywhere. Them go the shortest journey, not fair to the commuters. We a fair stage or take off these coasters and put more big buses, says Rudolph in Saint in Stony Hill. Ricardo in Glen Goff, leaving us with a gem. Live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. Patrick Howell has taken a picture of and posted it of a health card that someone lost. The owner should collect by calling Mr. Philip Johnson 3346. So let's see, there's some other information but we need to take the break let's get go to the break and come back with more in just a moment you're listening to power 106 fm the time is now 4.45. Taxpayers, select tax offices will be open this month and Saturday for your convenience. Conduct motor vehicle transactions, pay property tax or traffic tickets, renew your driver's license, or drop off the relevant documents at any of the following locations. St. Andrew, St. Anne's Bay, Montego Bay, Mandeville, or Savannah Lamar from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Portmore office remains open on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visit www.jamaicatax.gov.jm or call 888-TAX-HELP for details. Tax Administration Jamaica. Changing the way we do business. 
babe. I thought you fixed the wolf. Yeah, man. I used some duct tape and some bubble gum. What? That never worked. The wolf's still leaking. Well, I couldn't find any rope. What do you expect? No rope have to do with wolf. We're going to Hyper A Supercenter. Don't just try that thing. Do it like a pro. Get everything you need for your next project at Hyper A Supercenter. Tools, housewares, paint, plumbing, hardware, and gardening supplies. Plus a whole lot more. Only 15 minutes from Kingston off the new Mandela Highway. Open to 6 p.m. Hyper A Supercenter. It's all here. Sitting in limbo, sitting in limbo, Good afternoon to all working Jamaicans tuned into both sides of the story here on Power 106 FM. It's a good time for us to ask ourselves, how productive have we been today? How productive have we been today? Casita Johnson says, good afternoon, Mr. Malcolm. Happy 2024. Long time I don't tune in. Have a great day. Same to you, Casita Johnson. Stephen Barnes says, richness can be measured in uh, projected wealth, my friend. And uh, Ebony, Ebony Lawrence says, Hi, Mr. Malcolm. I love to listen to Neville. Uh, he uplifts me so much. Big up yourself, Mr. Neville. And uh, Petro E says, Good day, Mr. Malcolm and team. Good day to you too. Thank you very much for your messages. Keep them coming in. 876 365 Three three four six eight seven six three six five three three four six and let's see what we have here now just by way of another update this is courtesy of the gleaner And it's a couple of stories. The first one, rape trial of former Barbadian legislature set for June. The date for the rape trial of Barbados's former deputy speaker of the House and member of parliament, Neil Rowe, has been set for June 11. Rowe was arraigned on Thursday morning in the Supreme Court. And... Another story, Jolian Silvera remanded in murder of his wife. Former parliamentarian Jolian Silvera, who is charged with the murder of his wife, was this afternoon remanded when he made his first appearance before the Home Circuit Court. The businessman will return to court on February 8. Uh, three JPS investigating electrocution of man in Christiana. Three charged for a machete attack at grave digging in St. Anne. And JLP supporters protest party's replacement of Portmore mayoral candidate. Six men named persons of interest by St. Andrew South Police and Black River Tax Office remains closed over noxious fumes. So those are just some of the stories trending on the Gleaner's website, jamaica-gleaner.com. And let's see if we can clear whatever is left now in terms of other messages. Oliver Masters, we see you. Thank you very much for checking in. All the very best. Horace, otherwise known as Spider, says, Mr. Malcolm, the government is saying that the cost of the traffic tickets is not about money. Can the good prove we wrong? How about three strikes and you are out? The first one, you get a written warning. The second one, the same warning. The third time, you pay for all three and your license taken away for two months if you don't commit any traffic infringement within six months. 
it takes off the book, it's taken off the books, and you start over. So that is Horace's suggestion as far as the Road Traffic Act is concerned. Uh, Raskaba says, greetings. They clean the block, clean the blockage in the drain from the hospital so the water in the road is dried up. Give thanks. However, the cause is not touched. They don't clean the canal. The cause is not touched, or is it? Is it like a causeway? I don't know. It's... Well, thank you very much for the update, Raskaba, and all the very best. As we continue with more on your program, both sides of the story, Power 106 FM, streaming live on the Gleaners website, go-jamaica.com. Also live on your smart devices all over the world. And Raskaba is updating his message. And so too is John Clark. So we'll see what else they're querying before we wrap today's edition of both sides of the story. Raskava says the cause of the blockage. Okay, got you. Yes, the cause of the blockage. So greetings. They clean the blockage in the drain from the hospital so the water on the road is dried up. Give thanks. However, the cause, as in the cause of the blockage, has not been touched they don't clean the canal. Surely by now somebody or some entity, you would think would be established by now to do routine work, which can save the country lives, time, and money. Thank you very much for your message, Raskava. Diana McIntyre Pike is also sharing an information of an upcoming discussion. Derek Morgan says, Professor D, are you planning to attend the pen relays in 2024? Uh, let's see. Let's see, Derek. Morgan, let's see uh, if if that is possible, then we'll make it happen. Velma Parker says, good afternoon, Mr. Malcolm. Enough blessings to you, to you too, Velma Parker. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Winston Hines says, greetings, Malcolm, with great information as usual to inform everyone, Minister Hines in Florida your original listener. And I think we read these already. Yes, we read the other messages already. But feel free to keep them coming. 876-922-4112-5. John Clark says, Mr. Malcolm, I'm still trying to complete the text. Read the yard and road plan. What I was complaining about, Mr. Malcolm, is live, live, hmm. something is missing. I don't know if that should be river in Uerton and have to use, what's this? Val, I don't even know if that's a word. Are you trying to say valuable time? and fair to Spanish town to be told they don't have any, and nobody can tell me when I am to come back to collect the phone. Today is my birthday and don't have a good phone to talk to my friends and children. Is this a scam? He asks. Those are a couple of the messages.
and that tourism event it's the institute institute tourism.com for those who are interested tourism and poverty alleviation recommendations for action that's the overarching subject tourism and poverty alleviation recommendations for action and this will be on the 1st of february one o'clock looks like geneva time geneva switzerland you can google institute tourism.com and read at your own leisure we got your message ricardo thank you very much for your message And thank you, as usual, for listening. Thanks for making it both sides of the story, Poro 106 FM. So can we thank you once again for the privilege of serving you on yet another edition of your program, Both Sides of the Story, for today, Thursday, the 25th of uh, January, 2024. The Moving Finger writes, and having writ moves on, nor all your piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all your tears wash out a word of it. All things being well, both sides of the story returns tomorrow afternoon, two to five. Till then, this is Dervan Malcolm reminding all of us that every day is an opportunity to do better than yesterday. Take care. Yes, yes. Oh.